Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and excited that you're all here with me today. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we're starting here with the Ace of Wands, Scorpio. I feel there is a new path that has opened up. And on this new path, you have picked up a new project. Maybe you're starting a new job. Whatever this is, you're on a new adventure. And with that new adventure is going to come all the success in the world here, my friends. So get ready for this powerful energy. I feel you've been waiting for this for a long time here, Scorpio. And the Knight of Swords, this is you really taking action on this. I feel for a lot of you, you've been thinking about this for quite some time and you're really putting yourself into a positive mindset around this. And as you're doing that, you're getting into action. You've got a game plan. And this is what's going to bring that success around this, okay? This new thing that you're doing in your life. And the Empress card, this is you really nurturing that place, putting a lot of loving energy into it and seeing the growth and expansion that happens with you putting that energy in. And boy, oh boy, are you going to have abundance here, Scorpio. So get ready for this beautiful energy to envelop your life here, my friends. Whatever this adventure is, I feel I'm getting the uh, Fool card in my mind as I'm looking at this card here. Um... So some of you are on a creative adventure, right? Maybe you are starting a project. Maybe you're building something. Maybe you're traveling somewhere and doing something. This is brand new. This is definitely a new energy. And there's this feeling of joy, excitement, spontaneity, all of these things. And this is really you taking that big risk, taking that leap of faith, just like the Fool card. That's the image I'm getting in my mind with whatever this is. And you're not afraid. I feel for some of you, you've had this on the back burner. This has been in your mind for a long time. And you're finally embarking on it. And with that, there's that excitement and that trust in the universe, knowing that everything is going to work in your favor here. And I feel that you're believing in the power of you, Scorpio. And... You know, that power within yourself, something has ignited inside of you, whether it was you talking to someone about this or brainstorming with a friend, uh, whatever this is, there has been some sort of a fire that's been lit within you. So that passion is burning very bright here and you can see it through the clouds. I feel for some of you, you were in a stagnant energy. Maybe you went through something that was really difficult for you, some sort of a hardship, but now this is the light that is shining through those clouds, okay? Okay. The storm is now over here, my friends. It's now time to rise and really shine and show people what you're made of. Show yourself what you're made of here. Okay, so know there is going to be a lot of success around this because you are the one that's going to create it here, my friends. And really getting into a positive, abundant mindset as you're going through this process is going to amplify this energy even more. This is really you taking charge of your life. This is really you taking charge of this project to make sure that everything is in order and that everything is um, in a way that you are going to create that success. And this is by you getting into action. This is you having a game plan. This is you strategizing and really creating structure in your life. This is you having an actual solid game plan here, Scorpio. And what I'm feeling here is you're not only are you... Um, equipping yourself but you're taking in a lot of information here okay so some of you understand there's going to be a lot of learning around whatever this project is and you're picking up some of those skill sets knowledge maybe you're going back to school maybe you're uh, taking some courses online whatever this is there is some extra things that you have to do in order to get into action here so it's all about really getting your ducks in a row and as you're doing this, like as you're taking action, as you're getting into motion, it's all about lining things up that are going to work in your favor. So it's kind of like um, building a, a network of people that are going to work alongside you, connecting with different types of people and businesses that you can leverage in order to grow and succeed. This is really you, um, again, that skill set. Spirit guides are really wanting you to pick up on um, really taking in more knowledge around this, whatever this is for you 
uh, Scorpio. And um, building on that, I feel for some of you, you have some knowledge of it, but there's not enough. And to create that success, you're ever learning, right? And the minute you stop learning, Scorpio, I feel that's when you start withering away. So I feel for you taking in as much knowledge and picking up more skill sets and figuring out a lot of the kinks that are there in order to kind of streamline and have a, a smooth, efficient workload is going to help you in this uh, in this business quite a bit here okay or in this career whatever it is that you're doing remember we are all living a different life experience we're all going through something different so for you it's going to be different okay Scorpio than myself or anyone else that's watching today okay and this is really you creating something this is you creating that life that you desire and i truly feel this whatever this ace of wands is for you is a manifestation that has come into fruition this is something that you had given thought to prior in your life maybe you left it not on the back burner but i feel recently there's been this calling this yearning this longing to do something and this could be around your hidden talent some of you are talented this could be music this could be some sort of a creative endeavor right maybe you are gifted with some sort of a really unique talent that you want to express to the world and it's now time to really organize and plan things out and take action towards that so a lot of good things are coming and no this is kind of the energy of going into that world of chaos knowing that okay I'm going into chaos there's a lot of things that can come in front of me but I'm ready I'm armored I'm ready to go here and I'm guarded and no matter what comes my way I'm gonna overcome it I'm not gonna let things get to me that's what I'm feeling like. And even if you do get knocked down, you're going to get right back up, jump on your horse and start riding again. So this is the energy I'm feeling here with this Knight of Swords um, card and the Empress. This is all about embracing that divine feminine energy here and really tapping into that and kind of flowing with the energy and the waves that are coming through around this new project, new th this new adventure, this new path, and really creating the life that you want around it. So this is you again, uh, putting yourself into a system like a routine and really sticking to it and this is where you have to use discipline okay so whatever this is this is going to be your baby here okay whatever this new adventure is this is your baby here Scorpio and a mom when she has her her a, a newborn child she's going to put a lot of love a lot of care into that be very attentive this is kind of what spirit guides are wanting you to embrace with this empress energy and I want to mention this as well for some of you as you're embarking on this they're telling me that some of you are expecting a baby or maybe you're going to get pregnant along this path showing me motherhood for some of you so maybe this brand new project or adventure is an actual baby that is coming into your lives here my friends who you are going to raise to be a very successful very positive very good human being okay and for others this is an actual physical project like successful like your business where you're going to grow some income and I feel there's going to be a lot of abundance coming into your life around this because you are the one that's creating that abundance this is you really um uh, taking power over your life this is what I'm getting here and really nurturing the places putting care and love into the areas that you're wanting to grow in your life and you're going to see that abundance coming in that growth coming in um, I once went to a friend's cabin um, and they had actually planted some vegetables and I went there I think two months later maybe even less than that I think in a month and a half went back into their greenhouse and before when I first went there it was just them planting all the seeds and then a month and a half two months later went back there there's this abundance of vegetables and I was like whoa how could this grow so fast this is I this is actual abundance of food here and this is what I'm feeling like for you that growth is gonna happen super fast and you're gonna be astonished at what is actually happening in your life what is unfolding what is growing and it's gonna be like mind-blowing so I feel for a lot of you you are in this place where you're you're mentally ready and prepared to kind of handle this in your life right and you are now working towards that and you are 
are going to have that fruitful place in your life where you're seeing a lot of income coming in through your creation here, my friends. A lot of abundance, a lot of happiness and joy. This is the place that you are creating here, my friends. So, you know, believe in yourself and the power of you. Because I feel that everything that you need and require in order to really nurture and grow this area or this place in your life, you have it within you to actually do that. So if you understand and are aware and acknowledge that, that's where you're going to really see the fruits of your labor um, bear fruit and bear abundance. Okay, so own that power, my friends. You have it. All right, so you are going to see that true abundance coming in very quickly here as soon as you start planting those seeds. That <clears throat> that manifestation is a seed that has arrived in your life. It's now time to really put some love, care, and attention into it. All right, so I'm going to pull that bonus card for you here, Scorpio, and see what we get here. So this is the, um, oops, let me just grab that card, Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck. I'm going to read the interpretation from the guidebook because it's beautiful. It has a couple different uh, messages in there, so let's see what we get here for you. All right, what do my beautiful Scorpio friends need to know here? Spirit guides, show me what they need to know. High priest, intend and create. Look at that. Intend and create. So have some intentions behind what you are doing. I feel creating a vision board, okay? Think and Grow Rich. That's a great book to pick up and read in a day's time. It's a small little book. You can read. I read it in a day. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it made a huge difference in my life. So if you can grab that book, it's on Amazon. Pick that up, read it. That's going to help you a lot here, my friends. So uh, High Priest here is coming through for you. And I'm going to pull the interpretation here from this card for this card. Here it is. So the message is, Scorpio, recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. All right. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as the bridge between worlds and is able to not only divide, uh, only to divine the future, but to help create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in pagan traditions be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his, pra uh, his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader, or teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. The extended message for this card here is, you are a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. All right. Everything you are giving attention and energy to is and easy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided to know that you are being guided by ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal, and expand. And then watch it happen right before your eyes. How beautiful of a card for a beautiful reading for you my friends this is powerful i feel that you are on to something here and you know i feel a lot of you are going to have that abundance and you're going to create that beautiful life that you have been desiring for a very long time all right the power is in you my friends i'm now going to pull an angel card some of you have been seeing angel angel numbers and this is going to be your confirmation and for others you can use this as an affirmation all right so let's see what we get here for you number 44 i am supported scorpio you are supported here my friends so if you've been seeing four fours this is your confirmation let me read this card to you you, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. Look at that. What a powerful message. So have you been seeing four fours? Because this is your message. You, my friends, are supported. So own that, be that, and practice that. 
All right, so this is your reading, my friends. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.